Ladies, one thing that I always would tell men is that if you don't cook, you don't clean, that is a prerequisite to date you. I tell all men that because think about it. How are you going to build a family with a woman who can't cook, who can't clean, which is the basic things that women have been doing for millions of years. Modern women is not where it's at. Now, of course, guys will have fun with modern women. Of course, that's what you they, That's what they, you know, believe in anyway, a lot of fun, but it is not no one to set down and have a family with case in point. This woman here, let's review it. I don't cook. I don't clean. You know, there's so many other things that men care about. They that. only care about it. If they can't afford to go. That's a lie. Yeah. So how did this thing? A lot of y'all women get on these, these uh, uh, little shows y'all having and podcasts and y'all discussing men like y'all know us. And as men, we sit here listening to you and say, you don't know what you're talking about. And that's the thing. There's so many women out here giving advice to other women and you screwing these women up. You are sabotaging these women from getting men because yes, men care about you cooking. Men care about you cleaning. If the man comes home, he don't want to see clothes from the door all the way to the room. He don't want to see the, the pillars on the couches all over the place. He don't want to see dishes piled up in both sides of the sink. He don't want to see any of that mess. He want to see the freaking bathroom clean. He want to see the toilet paper or roll changed. He want to see the house swept. He want to see the house mopped. When he come home and he see a clean house, it makes him feel good because he say, okay, man, that's what I work for. This look good right here. And, and you doing what you're supposed to do. Then you have, it's no problem with you saying, hey, I, can, I, I need to be, you know, I like to get my nails done, my, my hair done, my this and that. Of course. Because, hey, you're doing everything that the minimum that, that you're supposed to be doing. You say you don't cook. What do children eat if you got them? What do they eat? Chicken nuggets? One of the worst things ever? Other fast food items, what you giving a pizza every other day, what you do taking them to freaking Taco Bell or whatever, because you don't want to cook. That's why I told y'all before I loved the, the pandemic, the, at least the first part of it, when them restaurants got shut down and these modern women had to actually try to get their behind in the kitchen and cook. Them restaurants should have stayed closed for at least for a year. Then you would have had a, a big turnaround with a lot of these women, but men, don't you date a woman that can't cook or clean. To me, if you can't clean, you're dirty. That's how I look at it, period. I don't care how much you take a bath. I don't care how much uh, perfume you put on, you're dirty. Because if your house is dirty, you dirty. So get the DoorDash every day, and if they can't afford to get the meal prep, what I eat is not what you're gonna eat. Like, I'm not yes. making meat. Like, I'm not gonna cook cheeseburgers and yes. fried chicken, like, and you want who say the man wants cheeseburgers and fried chicken? Once again, horrible food. There's men out here that actually eat decent meals. What if that brother wants some salmon, some some grilled salmon, and, 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 and some and some vegetables? What if that brother's like that? What if that brother himself may want a salad? Why you assume all men want meat? Not all men eat meat. Some men don't eat meat at all. They may eat a uh, uh, chicken. You know, like say, oh, now I do my grilled chicken breast or something like that. My baked. Or, hey, I eat like only meat I will eat like lamb or something like Why you assume that? That's not a meal for a man. It let you know. Fried chicken, cheeseburgers. You, you're going to make the man sick. And that's why a lot of men be dying is because the, the women be cooking all that horrible food. The ones that do cook because they can't cook worth a crap to, to cook something healthy. want to eat that, I get it. You're a southern man. You should eat that. Not all southern men eat that crap. I'm from the South and I'm telling you, not all brothers eat that crap. Once again, you don't know men. Right. I will not be barbecuing ribs. Is that I'm making a salad. Right. <laughs> Maybe a panini. So that, but that's all you can make is a salad and a panini. Well, a man, I don't want to eat a salad and a panini every day. But once again, I tell you, these women don't know what they're talking about, but she, but one thing she did not emphasize she didn't talk about the cleaning part. She said she'll make you a salad or a panini, but she didn't say nothing about if she's cleaning. But she said in the beginning she did not clean. So, fellas, on your on your bio, because women actually read your bios on these dating profiles. In your bio, fellas, like you know, put down your what you what you would not date a woman for. I mean, it be explanatory. 
if you say no single mothers, put that a little, a little thing and say, Hey, I won't date women that are single mothers. I won't date women that use any kind of drugs. I won't date women that's taking a uh, 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 mental health pills. I'm sorry, nothing against people with mental health, but I just don't want to deal with it. Sorry. I'm not going to deal with it. You deal with your issues with your doctor and, and that's it. Some men can say that, right? And it is what it is. You can get mad. You can put on there. Hey, I, I will not deal with a woman that don't cook and don't clean period. I'm not going to deal with a woman that, that, that just spend money and, and always broke. I'm not going to deal with a woman that's sitting up here, not working and on food stamps and welfare being lazy, put, put down a lot of things that whatever your deal breakers are, say like, I don't deal with a woman that smoke cigarettes, you know, like put all that down. I promise you fellas, you're going to get more women jumping in your <laughs> DMs. Trust me. They're going to be upset. Well, why would you say this and that in the third? Why, why are you mad? Just look at the profile, say, well, he's not for me and move on. But one thing women don't like, fellas, is rejection. They can't deal with rejection. It, it really goes through them when a man, especially a man that got himself together. Now, if you're a dude that's dusty, yeah, no woman care about you. But if you're a guy that got yourself together, you know, you're on your, let's say on your dating profile, you know, you're posting a lot of pictures of your worldly travels. You know, you're in your, you're in your, you're looking clean, you know, on your profiles. Um, you know, you're showing you in the, American Express Centurion Lounge, you in the Delta Sky Club, you know, you may went to Turkey or something and say, hey, I, I can't wait to Turkey just to get some spices, man. You know, I'm, I'm riding business class on Turkish Airlines. Ooh, look, I'm in the business class lounge, which that lounge is nice. That one in Istanbul, ooh, that's a nice lounge. Yeah, go there to that one. If you ever do Turkish Airlines, fly business class and go to that lounge in Turkey. Um, put all your worldly travels, do things like that. Uh, on your page, fellas and women will be so interested in you. Cause trust me, dudes is world traveled and dudes that's, you know, dress nice. look like they got themselves together. Okay. Now they look at your profile. Then they see down there that what you don't deal with. Shh, they really gonna get hot. <laughs> they don't get so hot with y'all fellas. Oh man. They gonna get hot. But it, it is what it is. It's called weeding people out because men are always trying to, you know, be shamed when you have some standards, it's okay for them to talk about, they want a man at six feet, making a hundred thousand, 200,000 a year. That's fine. But when a man has some sort of standards, Oh no, that's wrong. Oh, you just being horrible to women. No, no, no. The man just don't want you because you don't qualify men always in your mind say that women need to qualify for you. They do. They need to qualify, especially if you are doing good for yourself. It is going to hurt you to pick the wrong woman. It could destroy you financially, emotionally, and everything. I mean, trust me, women could take you to the heights of heaven and can take you to the pits of hell. I know from experience. So, fellas, you got to be selective on the women that you're picking. And, and yeah, looks is one thing, but bro, you got to even get past the looks thing. It's about that character and what you don't want to put up with. And that's why I say put up your deal breakers on those online profiles, wherever they may be. And if they mad, let them be mad. Cause trust me, the women that, that is not fitting those categories, they ain't gonna be mad at you. Not at all. They may be the ones that say, Hey, you know, I read all that, what you put down and Hey, you know, I cook, I clean. I don't smoke no cigarettes. I, I'm not out here having a bunch of kids. I'm not no single mom. I, I'm not on no kind of drugs. I don't, I'm not taking mental health pills. I'm not doing, a woman to tell you real quick, especially when she campaigning, because she see your profile and you make it because a lot of you guys got laser profiles. You know, uh, I know that just from, you know, a long time ago when I was on there, right? Long time ago. I don't know nobody's profile. I'm about the game. I'm married. Happy. It'll be 12 years this year for me, but I know how men are. A lot of times men are lazy when it comes to things like that. And take it from me. I know women like to read those things. And if you set your profile up, like I just told you, especially you do the travel, like you dudes are traveling constantly. Like I say, post all that, post all that, but don't post a bunch of pictures with you with women. Like never post a bunch of women. Cause if that woman ain't your girlfriend and nothing like that, don't post that. Keep all your, um, fun time off the internet. Like don't post no pictures. Don't post no video. Don't post any of that. You know, not at all. You know, um, if you post a, something, maybe a lady or something, but not nothing naked, not nothing, you know, scandalous, like something that's just respectful. 
um, keep all your scandal and stuff offline. I'm telling you just in general, because even in your career, you don't want that kind of stuff online. But let me know what you think uh, with, you know, this uh, particular lady here that says she don't cook and clean. Like I said, she just don't qualify to me for any kind of man if you don't do all the cooking and cleaning.